for joining us here in the post drinking press conference. Uh, we've got four of the lads as well as Lado here to have a chat. So let's hear it for our victorious ATPIA. got the microphone let's have a chat with Captain Fantastic. He's, he's up here quite a lot these days. Let's hear it for Brady Kurtz folks. <laughs> Brady getting quite a fan club here in Manchester. Another win for the boys on the night. That is a brilliant result. Won the battle, not the war though. Yeah it's it's kind of a shame that we let it down in you know in the Wolves League. It's uh it's kind of put a downer on things but uh I think we've learned from it and we've definitely improved since then and things have been been looking good so I think we can be happy with what we did here. The Wolves are a strong team and we've had so many tough matches with them the previous years and to really give them a, a good go here tonight, I think that's uh, that's positive signs and we need to just focus on the league now and uh, have them again in two weeks' time. In less than two weeks' time, even, absolutely. Yeah, I think that deserves a round of applause. I mean, looking at the overall aggregate scores, though, you, you guys didn't disgrace yourselves by any means. No, I think it was possible. I think the, it was definitely a shame not having Tom and Norrick here. Although, although Paco did give it 150% of the day. Yeah, I think both of them back could, possibly could have been the difference, but uh, yeah, we'll never know. I think the, the damage was done in, in the first leg and that's where we messed up. And uh, yeah, all we can do is just focus on the future and uh, back to Wolves in a few weeks and that's when we, we need to turn it around and uh, yeah, correct our wrong. Absolutely. Well, hopefully we'll be back to full strength at that point. I'm sure they'll have Leon Flint back at reserve, maybe Luke Becker. Even so, though, this result tonight must give you guys confidence for the bank holiday fixture. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a, it's been a good run for us and uh, yeah, we just need to stick together, keep working together as a team and uh, I'm sure things are going to keep moving forward for us to, towards the end of the year. I'm sure they will. Ladies and gents, let's hear it for Brady Kurt. the Premiership Speedway full-time for you. It is good to see you starting to climb, you know, climb into the scores. Now, a couple of points tonight, you must be happy. Yeah, definitely. It, it was a really hard start for me this year, and obviously it's a big step up. There's a, there's a lot going on, and it's a shame that I had that break as soon as the start of the season, as soon as the season started, but I think I'm now finding my feet, and yeah, I'm really happy with tonight, and I think I can only improve from tonight, really. I mean, all of the boys are, are chipping in and, and helping you out. And for those of you who aren't aware, um, Jake had a bit of a, well, quite an accident at Redcar uh, a few weeks ago. He was out for 10 days uh, with a concussion. It's not ideal, is it, to miss all of that track time, especially when you're making your Premiership debut? No, it, it's, it's not good, especially when your season starts good, because when, when you have a good ride, you, you just want to keep on riding. And to have a good ride and then not ride anymore is, is, is a big setback. But like I said, I think... Now I'm kind of getting in the mix again, and I know what mistakes I'm making. I can only improve. So. And we're seeing the progress you're making. It's it's not going to be happening overnight for you, but you know this is a club that's known for its loyalty to its riders. How are you feeling on the bike? Because you're looking more and more confident with each lap that you take. Yeah, I, I'm I'm definitely getting my confidence back, and yeah, I am feeling the best I've ever felt really. So. Yeah, yeah, it's been really good. Oh, good. Well, we can only hope that this continues. Ladies and gents, let's have a massive round of applause for Jake Morgan. I must say, I was, I was pleasantly surprised because I, up until uh, this morning, I wasn't aware that this man would be joining us at number six, but here he is, Paco Castagna, everybody. Look at him. Oh, my goodness. You've already got a fan club in Manchester, and this is your first league fixture at the National Speedway Stadium. <laughs> well, the best part, I guess. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm very happy. You know, I'm very, as I said earlier, I'm, I'm very grateful for the for the opportunity. Um, it was it was very good to get in uh, in the piece, and the the, the the attitude of the boys towards me was beautiful, and that had helped me a lot. I guess that helped me also on the scores because obviously when you when you come in as a guest, it's always difficult. You kind of have to do your own thing alone most times, and and the the boys helped me a lot. So I want to thank them, thank them of course. And uh, as I said, you know, as I said earlier, the t-shirt is comfortable, but I think the suit will look a lot better. <laughs>
to the bus there, Paco. Um, am I correct in assuming then that the last time you actually rode the National Speedway Stadium was 2018 with the Team Italy and the Speedway of Nations? That's a long time. Yeah, it was a lifetime ago. I came here without confidence, with different bikes, and uh, first time here, and it was very, very difficult, of course, against the best of the world. And uh, tried my best, but it wasn't a good night. Came back home and I said, well, this is one of the most difficult tracks in the world. And when last night I was driving back to Edinburgh, Lemo called me and I'm like, yeah, well, I need to take the opportunity. So now nah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I've, uh, I've, I've gave my best tonight. If you asked me before the meeting, eight points, I would be very happy. Uh, but now I'm kind of disappointed. I want to be more, but yeah. there's, there's room for improvement and yeah. Hopefully, it would be better. Now, we were talking on our way up to the Peter Craven suite. You were describing how different the mentality is for a championship level to premiership. I mean, how different is it? Because it is, they're almost like chalk and cheese, these two leagues, aren't they? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's very difficult. Obviously, I keep saying it, it's, it's not very easy when you race only one league. Um, I've been struggling with traveling a lot, and obviously, these boys know it. Uh, but when you're always on the bike and you've got full-time mechanic and everything, it's, it's a little bit easier. You just need to ride the bike and uh, I kind of want to get to that level and I know I'm very, very close to that. So I just keep walking and, and soon I'll be there. Well, well, we've enjoyed your company tonight, Paco. Hopefully we're not the last we've seen of you. Let's hear for Paco. Jamin, this moment has been a long time coming. Let's hear it, folks. He's a maximum man tonight. Jamin, Getting the bumps here at the National Speedway Stadium, how did that feel? Oh, it's a great feeling, you know. Um, I've done a fair bit of riding here, and to, to get that was a big tick off the bucket list. So, um, you know, a few more of them, and I'll be more than happy. And we can see in heat number 15, you and Dan Bewley, when it was more of a two horse race between you guys, you can see how much you wanted that full maximum. Yeah, for sure, you know, you go into that last heat with a little bit of anger and a um, little, little bit more, you know, stress and, um, you know, more, more fire in the belly. So, um, you know, I managed to make it happen and yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. Absolutely. And the team can be happy with this performance again, you know, still maintaining your home record, uh, obviously, from the, the beginning of the season. It's really, really good to get one over the Wolverhampton boys. We didn't quite make it on aggregate, but, you know, what a performance from the boys. Two of our regular races down, as we've heard from Brady. I mean, what more could you guys do? Yeah, for sure. You know, the score was actually quite good considering, um, you know, we lost on ag aggregate. But, um, you know, the years have had a lot of good races with Bulls over the years. You know, they're, they're, they're quite a strong team. So, um, you know, to get that score is, is quite good. Another win. So hopefully we can keep going. Um, you know, how, how making it Bulls was, was definitely no good. But, um, you know, we've all learned from that. And I'm sure we won't make the same mistakes when we go back there in a couple of weeks. Absolutely. I mean, it has been a little bit of a quiet month, May, for you boys, hasn't it? With all of the rain offs and just the, the normal gaps in the fixtures. But we're getting a lot busier from next month. Is that going to be... Is that going to pay off for you guys, do you think, having that more consistent fixture list? Yeah, I think so. We've only, yeah, only done a couple of meetings here this month and we had you know, three weeks off, I think, racing here in England. So, um, you know, I think once we start to get busy and, um, you know, the boys are we're all riding a lot more and, you know, using the same equipment all the time, I think it's, it, it is a bit of a, a bit of a key and, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully it will work for us. But, uh, yeah, you know, once, once we're busy, I think we'll get the ball rolling and a few more big scores and... Um, We'll be all happy. Oh, we'll certainly make the boss happy and the fans happy. Let's hear it for Jamie and Lindsay, folks. about tonight. I mean, just like we said to Jamie, like, you couldn't have asked for more than the boys gave today, could you? Uh, no, but I think a lot. You know, Jamie got a really good night tonight, but I, I think the credit really probably should go to my cooking last night, Jamie. Yeah, pasta. Yep. The, the secret to success is pasta. Oh, Mark, you might have to share the recipe. I'm not going to challenge you. I'm going to challenge you. In the kitchen, definitely not. But no, um, all aside that, uh, you know, we, you know, we had a probably a really tough task coming in tonight. You know, we, we as Brady said, we threw it away down at um, Wolverhampton. We can't forget that. So, ifs and buts, you know, we. Yeah, that was it. We went out master plaid down, down there, and um, you know it was too too tall to you know uh, tell it to crawl back. But uh, yeah, they showed a lot of resolve, and um, you know we're definitely a, a different unit. Uh, I would say from you know those first couple of meetings, which is really pleasing. Uh, you know it's another win on, under the notch of the belt. Uh, so that's you know quite a few consecutive wins, you know home and away. Um, yeah, we missed Norwich and we missed we missed Tom tonight, so it was disappointing. 
Uh, but this meeting has just kind of been one of those meetings that uh, yeah, it's been washed out twice and uh, just to get it on for me was a result for the club. So I'm um, really proud of the efforts. I'm um, disappointed that we're out of the knockout cup, but uh, there's one other big challenge that we've got in front of us and uh, that needs backing something up. Absolutely. And I mean, I was hoping to have a chat with Charles, right? Because he seemed to develop quite the on-track rivalry with Zach Cook tonight, didn't he? There was a quite a bit of argy bargy going on, wasn't there? Man, <laughs> that was tight. Uh, you know, we had BSN here covering the, the, the show tonight, and uh, I can't wait to replay those uh, those footage. That was some pretty tight stuff, and I, I saw uh, Charles's. Um, I, mean, I don't know if you guys seen it, but uh, Charles had some pretty nasty uh, tire burns and uh, from you know, Jake's front tire. But uh, they were racing out. They, they meant business. But uh, you know, for me, it was like good to see. You know, young Zach having a you know good crack, you know one of our you know, you know uh, stalls. So yeah, great reason. It was indeed. I mean, for viewers, for everybody here tonight, though, I mean, you, you can't beat the in-person experience of Speedway, can you? Yeah, I, I think that's sort of a little bit disappointing. I, I just thank you very much for everyone who attended tonight and all the supporters that come. You know, obviously we knew it was a tall uh, ask, you know, to try and win the aggregate. And, uh, but I'm I'm very grateful for your, all your support that you know coming back to you know, thick and thin. So that that means a lot. Um, but yeah, I so said there's plenty of racing to happen and what we're seeing tonight, we know when you come here, whether it's National League or, you know, Championship or like or Premiership or Championship, but, uh, or international meetings, the racing's always, you know, really good. Uh, and we, we saw a first class race tonight. We certainly did. Mark Levin, let's hear it for him. The boss, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Have a very, very safe trip home. Our next meeting here is Friday, May the 26th, the Bellevue Colts versus the Mildenhall Fentigers. Until then, have a very lovely weekend and a safe journey home.